Once upon a time in a small town not too far away, there lived a group of talking vegetables. They were tired of being constantly uprooted and thrown into boiling pots or raw salads, so they decided to open up their own fast food restaurant. They called it, the Veggie Patch, and it became the talk of the town. Excited about their new venture, the vegetables hastily painted signs, printed menus, and set up shop. But as they began to prepare for their grand opening, they soon realized they had no idea how to cook anything else except themselves. Chaos ensued as the carrots argued about being roasted or boiled, the onions debated being caramelized or sautéed, and the lettuce leaves panicked about how they could possibly be prepared. In an attempt to find a solution, the vegetables held a meeting in the kitchen. How are we going to keep this restaurant afloat if we don't know how to cook anything besides ourselves? Asked the zucchini, scratching his head with anxiety. The talking vegetables brainstormed, tossing ideas around faster than a blender on high speed. Finally, they decided that each vegetable would swap roles and learn how to prepare a different edible ingredient. The broccoli would learn how to cook pasta, the tomatoes would master the art of making a tomato sauce, and the cucumbers would become experts in making salad dressings. With newfound determination, the vegetables began their crash course in culinary skills. They chopped, they stirred, they sautéed, and they simmered. Though they made countless mistakes along the way, burning soups, overcooking noodles, they persevered, motivated by their desire to create a successful restaurant where vegetables never had to fear being eaten again. The grand reopening of the veggie patch was met with great excitement from the townspeople. The aroma of roasted eggplants and freshly baked bread wafted through the air, and curious customers flocked to the restaurant. As the vegetables meticulously prepared each dish, they felt a sense of pride and satisfaction. The vegetables realized they had averted the chaos by learning new, compassionate ways to serve food. The newfound success of the veggie patch brought joy and unity among the vegetables. They decided to change the menu to vegetarian options, attracting a wider range of customers seeking healthier choices. Word spread like wildfire, and soon the restaurant became a sensation not only in their town but also beyond its borders. The vegetables lived happily ever after, basking in the success of their fast food restaurant. The talking vegetables no longer worried about being consumed and found fulfillment in nourishing people's bodies with their delicious vegetarian creations. And as the townspeople embraced the concept of a vegetable-only menu, they too discovered the benefits of including more plant-based options in their diets. The veggie patch became a symbol of compassion and harmony, a place where vegetables continued to grow together and trust that they would never be eaten by each other again. And so, the talking vegetables vowed to create a world where vegetables lived in peace and thrived, knowing that they were valued for their taste and goodness, rather than as a mere ingredient on a plate.